Mary Silly, and I'm the designer of the Faith Impressions line by Gel Press, and I'm also the writer of the seven day Jumpstart devotional that comes with it. Today, I just want to take you through a quick, fun tutorial just to show you a new thing that you can do with our Gel Press plates and alcohol inks in your Bible journaling. I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks. Today, we're going to do a quick technique using our alcohol inks. So, we're just going to take some alcohol inks and put a good amount of it on our gel press plate from the Faith Impressions collection. This is the straight edge border plate and I'm just going to very lightly dab, call it the dab and smoosh, because if you get too aggressive with it then you kind of lose the colors. And while that's still just slightly wet, I'm going to take this texture plate and just add some texture to it. And you can see it's lifted up some of that alcohol ink right there. We're going to give that just a second to dry out because then we're going to add a layer of silver paint on top of it that is going to release that alcohol ink from the top of our gel press faith impressions plate. And then we're going to be able to use that to transfer it right to our Bible page. So we're just going to take this and just lightly go over it. I'm going to wipe a little bit of that excess off because you want a thin layer, almost where you can still see the paint through it. And then I'm just going to lift this up. And it's on an acrylic block that I made specifically for this. And then we're going to just line it up right with our Bible page. And set it down. And we're just going to give it a little bit of a press. And we're just going to lift it up. And you can see we have an instant beautiful background. I missed a spot there. Oh, because it was still wet. So we'll just dab a little silver paint on there. And there you go. You got a beautiful background ready for your Bible journaling. And because you use so little, it's dry already and ready to go. All right, friends, now that we made our beautiful background using our Faith Impressions plate with some alcohol inks and some silver paint. I'm going to finish it up here a little bit. Um, I found these really great old, are they old? I don't know. I mean, I think they're old. I don't think they would make them anymore. But rub-ons, somebody remember rub-ons? Anyway, I think I remember them being super fun. And I dug out some fun stuff from my um, Illustrated Faith line that was given to me. So I thought well, it looks like I bought that one. $1.49 y'all. Yay. Um, so we're just going to finish this up. This is one of my favorite scriptures lately is the one of um, leaving the 99. And it's kind of that thought that everyone thinks it's weird. I'm like, why would you leave all the others for just one until you're the one that's gone? And I want to kind of overlap these a little bit, just so it takes up less room. I don't know if overlap is the right word, but... And these are so old, <laughs> they're coming off like really easy. They're by a company called Arctic Frog. Anybody remember that? They were a paper crafting line years ago. I'm going to smoosh that down enough right there. Smooshy, smooshy, smooshy. This little piece right here, I'm just going to kind of tuck around. And we're going to use the M. And I'm going to kind of tuck it up under here so it takes up. Do I do it that way or do I want to do it this way? No, nah, too much of it will hang off that way. Make it look really graphic. Alright, 
So I'm not going to make you sit here and listen while I babble to myself to figure this out. So I'm going to put this in fast motion and get it to the end and then I will see you there.